For most of us, at one point or another, we've been on the top of a ladder or up on a roof and dropped a tool, a hammer, wrench, whatever. And it's a real pain to have to go all the way down and pick it up. Well, if you've got a tape measure, you've got the problem solved. I keep a neodymium magnet attached to my tape. All I have to do is put it at the end, extend it out, and as long as the tool has a little bit of metal on it and doesn't weigh too much, I can pick it up without having to climb all the way down. This next tip has many names, but where I'm from we call it the carpenter square, and while it's normally done in feet, today we're doing it in inches. If you need to find a 90 degree plane in an open area, put your mark where you need to find the plane, measure up 6 inches, and then from the original mark measure over 8 inches. And then from those two marks, measure 10 inches, and where the 10 inch line intersects the 6 inch line, is exactly 90 degrees from your original mark. And here's a square just to prove it. Now this next trick is one that I'm sure many of you know, but for those of you who don't, this is such a valuable tip, I wanted to share it. If you need to find the center mark of any measurement, simply fold your tape measure over, put the tip on that measurement, and at the apex of the circle where the fold is, is exactly half the distance. If I need to find the circumference or the rough circumference of a circle, say I'm cutting edge banding to a certain length or whatever, all I'm going to do is measure the diameter of the circle, add one inch, fold my tape measure three times, and that says 49 inches. Now just to show you that this works, that circle was 15 and 1 quarter inches in diameter times pi, 47.8 inches. I only had an inch of waste. This next tip is just for fun. If you want to know how old somebody is and you know the year they were born, go to the 100 inch mark and then add whatever number of the year it is. So it's 2015, so we'll go to 100 and add 15. Stop your tape right there and then butt the end of the tape up to it and then go to the year they were born. For instance, I was born in 1973. If you flip it over, it says 42. That's how old I am. And it works on all the way up and down the tape. So if somebody was born in, say, 1992, flip it over, it'll tell you they're 23 years old. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up or share it with somebody who can use these tips or tricks. And don't forget to subscribe. We've always got some fun and crazy project going on. Also, if you'd like to see some projects from the past, head on over to the website and check out some articles we have over there. We're also always doing something fun. we got a great giveaway going on over there right now that you won't want to miss out on. We'll talk to you soon.